Welcome to another unboxing video and in this case we are taking a look at the Sabertooth X79 motherboard. So this is quite a heavy uh, box in relation to many other motherboards. We can see that it is a tough series uh, coming with a five year warranty. Just taking a look down here on the bottom so it's uh, made by ASUS and we can see that it supports the Intel uh, Core i7 processor uh, with the X79 chipset so it is a socket LGA 2011 it is NVIDIA SLI ready and also supports AMD Crossfire X technology so you can easily add in dual graphics cards if you wish okay, let's just open up the box and see what is written inside some of the features we have thermal armor we have thermal radar which will in real time do temperature detection and heat removal so it'll vary um, the cooling with regard to the, the amount of heat being generated. Uh, we have a new digi uh, power control uh, so for controlling the power to both CPU and RAM and we have tough components uh, so all the components should be uh, good and rugged to give you quite a few years of performance. On the other side of the box here, it supports ASUS SSD caching, so providing three times faster uh, hard disk speeds uh, just at a click. Uh, so that is very useful nowadays, speed. It supports USB 3.0, uh, we have a number of USB 3.0 ports, and it also supports USB BIOS flashback. So this is a very useful feature where we can just plug in a memory stick and upgrade or bias. Let's take a look inside. Let's just open up this section here and take a look at the motherboard itself. Okay, so we can see that it is in a self-contained package, which we can just remove. Okay, so here is the motherboard, and it is really quite, quite heavy. Let's just put this to one side for a moment and see what else is in the box. So we have some instructions for the CPU. We have our plate for our connections at the back. We have a tough inside sticker. We have the motherboard user guide. We have a quick start guide. We have the five year warranty. We have a certificate of reliability. We have one, two, three sets of SATA cables. We have our bridge for our graphics card and just a few other bits and pieces we have some more connections here and finally we've got a a small little fan that will connect into the motherboard itself here is the motherboard itself and let's open it up and take a look so really quite heavy and let's remove it from the packaging It is really quite heavy. We've got a fan here to help with cooling and the other fan that we had seen in the packaging just slips into this panel here. Here we can see we've got the panel for the CPU. We've got eight DIMM slots. So this motherboard supports up to 64 gigabytes of memory. Uh, we've got our slots here for our graphics cards and there's sufficient spacing here to put in uh, two graphics cards there without without any trouble whatsoever. Let's just take a look at the back of the motherboard. Okay, we can see that we have uh, quite a good sizable plate here, so this should make sure that it's uh, easy to mount. And we can also anticipate some heat through the back as well, so that is always good. Looking on at the side, 
we can see that we've got a PS2 connection. So for your keyboard or mouse, that is always uh, still useful to have. We've got two USB 3.0, two USB 2.0. We've got FireWire, eSATA. We've got another eSATA here. We've got optical uh, out. Uh, we can flash the BIOS. We've got three USB 2.0. And we've got uh, two USB 3.0 again. So we've got four USB 3.0 in total. We've got five USB 2.0 in total. And of course we got 7.1 audio. And of course we've got gigabit ethernet there as well. If we take a look from this side here, we can see that we've got uh, a number of SATA ports here. Uh, so we can connect up quite a few uh, hard disks if you want and very useful feature here is that we have uh, SSD caching here so that should greatly help to speed up our hard disk speeds with that. So that is just a very quick overview of this motherboard so once again it's an Asus it's a Sabertooth X79 supporting the Intel Core i7 processor it supports 8 DIMMs, providing up to 64 gigabytes of memory quad channel. So all in all, it is really quite a heavy motherboard, one of the heaviest I have come across. So looking on the back, we can see that it supports the second generation Intel Core i7 processor. Uh, it has features the Intel X79 chipset in terms of expansion slots. We have two byte PCI Express uh, 16 by slot, so this is dual 16 by 16. We've got one PCI Express 3.0 again. We've got two PCI Express 2.0 uh, times one, and we've got one standard PCI slot. And in terms of memory, it has uh, support for eight DIMMs, up to a maximum of 64 gig. It supports multiple GPUs, so both NVIDIA or AMD using SLI or Crossfire technology. In terms of storage, we have four SATA 6 gigabit connections, four SATA 3 gigabit connections, and we've got one powered eSATA providing six gigabit per second, and we got one eSATA uh, six gigabit per second again. Over here, we can see some features, so we've got a 7.1 audio, we've got a gigabit LAN, we've got two USB 3.0 ports, we've got four USB 3.0 ports on the back, and we've got 14 USB 2.0 stro stroke 1.1 uh, on the board itself as well. That's giving us a total of 20 USB connections there, so that should be more than enough to cater for all your USB needs.